December 8, 2017. Association of Nigerian Physicians in the Americas, ANPA, New York chapter, celebrated its annual gala night and end-of-the-year party at Regency Hotel, Yonkers, New York. The evening was initiated by ANPA New York chapter members and was well attended. Um, the event featured A-list medical doctors, ambassadors, United Nation officials, top Nigerian government officials, medical students, community leaders, philanthropists, top American politicians, and dignitaries. The main event started with the national anthem of the United States. Chairman of ANPA New York Chapter, Dr. Namdi Madweke, welcomed the guests. Distinguished colleagues, our esteemed guests, uh, we have here with us uh, our mission, you know, Nigeria mission on that uh, table. Our uh, Ambassador Morrigan over there with us. So we are grateful to have uh, you guys here with us. Um, my distinguished colleague, it's uh, a pleasure that we all grace this occasion. A group of physicians in the 90s tried to organize Anthony York. You know, and over the years, that association fizzled out. And then in 2012, myself, my immediate chair, Dr. Wale Okumola, who is unavoidably uh, absent today uh, because he has to bury his mom. You know, uh, and uh, the immediate past treasurer, who is also the deputy vice chair there, Mr. Uh, Dr. Olusoyo Rufai, who came together after having attended the AMPA National for a lot of years. I'm finding that uh, New York has no representation. So we decided that New York being a very big city, and having a lot of Nigerian positions, should be represented at Ampa National. So we came together and uh, started our New York chapter. <coughs> My immediate past chair did a very wonderful job. You know, he had a very uncommon dedication and uh, passion. His passion actually drove us up to this stage. And I'm happy that uh, when our steam was slowing down, we had our AMPA membership share, Dr. Chinya Nanyong, you know, coming in as a lifesaver, because uh, I think we were almost running out of steam. <laughs> so we 
Chin era, you know, will actually come back on full speed. Our goal is to get our attendants very involved in activities of company here. Over the last five years, we did a lot of good work. Our work was mostly on helping our young doctors who were preparing to get into residency. We mentored a lot of them, we helped them with their um, residency applications, and we got a lot of them into training. A lot of us got trained in Nigeria almost for free. Went to medical school almost for free. That's the truth. So at some point, we have to ask, what can we give back to this country that trained us? And granted that the environment was not conducive for a lot of us to practice back home. So you know, we were forced to come here. And there are a lot of Nigerian physicians doing excellently well. You know, we are amongst the top physicians across the country. So it's really time for us to come together, work together to improve healthcare delivery back home. We have a lot to give under the umbre umbrella of AMPA and working together as AMPA aligning with the national mission. We shall accomplish a lot. So I'm appealing to my colleagues. We're going to be getting your emails, your phone numbers. Please respond to us. Please attend our activities. Please belong. There's benefit in giving back. So please, you know, together all of us can work to get us to where we want to be. Thank you so much. Dr. Livinus Obilo, the chairperson of ANPA New Jersey chapter, commended ANPA New York chapter members for coming together to serve our community. When I came here in 1987, was the first time I went to ANPA And at that time, the reason for my going was looking for Nigerian doctors to give me advice on what to do as a new person coming to the system. New York was the first AMPA state in this in the tri-state area, including Connecticut, New York, and this. Healthcare delivery in Nigeria is at the bottom of all healthcare system in the world. And AMPA has taken so many challenges. I'm gonna point a couple of them out for you. Right now, AMPA is working on changing the curriculum of medical schools in Nigeria. It's working in collaboration with all the universities in Nigeria. That's one of the things AMPA is doing at this time. AMPA not only helping Nigeria to move our healthcare system in a different direction. AMPA has been helping Nigerian doctors to come here and learn and go back. Through AMPA, last two weeks, I got a residency program for one of Nigerian uh, medical students. That's the role AMPA plays. Those of you who have not joined AMPA, I know many of my friends, colleagues say, what has AMPA done for you? AMPA don't have to do anything for you. You have to do something to help AMPA grow. Bring your ideas. Bring your friends who are doctors. Tell them. And the young ones, those of us who are getting old, somebody has to take over. If you don't do anything, then the system will eventually die. And it will affect everybody. So thank you very much. Other notable speakers expressed their support for the association. association of the union that we have started will go beyond just the medical. You are doing well in the medical. Two days ago, they were in the Nigeria House 
to take our blood sample and do all those kind of things. And we quite appreciate it. But we believe that we can influence other Nigerians within this community, professionals, to also come together. You know, because the more we are together, the happier we shall be. So when we have the medical well coordinated, we can take it to the engineers in this city, we can take it to the lawyers in this city, we can know that meeting. And then we could have more than just writing, we could have professionals, Nigerian professionals, making impact in this great country. And it is true that and we can reach the government of this country and then we can have respect for our nation. We thank you for what you are doing and we pray that God bless you to stand you. Thank you so much. God bless you. One of the residents, Dr. Fawole, also commended the association for mentoring the young doctors. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Fawole. It's my honor to speak on behalf of the resident doctors here in New York. First of all, I would like to thank our AMPA New York for the good job we are doing. I've actually been attending AMPA meetings since 2014, even before I started my residency. I would say that I really benefited from the mentoring activity of um, AMPA. Some of attendees sitting here this night actually gave me a lot of words of encouragement and guided me on how I'm going to go through the application process. Um, first of all, I would like to thank the uh, AMPA, the current AMPA executive committee members, because I think the last executive uh, members. They tried a lot of things to bring um, resident doctors on board so that we can participate in AMPA activities. But um, then there was no AMPA, I mean, there was no resident representative. But the current school team me fit to actually give us a position by uh, making sure that um, there's a resident representative in the interest of the um, resident physician in New York. And I'm here to talk on behalf of all the residents. And I also thank the Dr. Anyaoku, that she's doing a very good job. And uh, she's actually <laughs> uh, for all the resident uh, uh, doctors in New York so that uh, to understand our problems in terms of visa issues, jobs and other things. We thank you once again for giving me the opportunity to talk here this night. Thank you. Thank you. You know, when I think of Nigeria, I feel very sad. This is a country where uh, if I travel home and I'm sick, I would, I would like to get the first, first flight back here. <laughs> it shouldn't be that way. But if we can put our hands together, we'll copy what AMPA is doing, sending people to Nigeria to help. I think that is very useful. And I would like to encourage you to continue to do that because uh, if you think you can treat, treat one person in Nigeria, that is, that's, you are doing a good job. And um, I guess uh, that's what I have to say. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physician, but I can see a good thing when a good thing is done. And I thank you for what you are doing. The speakers also encouraged others to join hands together to help the association to achieve its goals. So I really like to thank this executive for what you are doing. Like I said, I'm familiar with what AMPA does. And over the last few years, some of us have done a lot of, what did they say, like some, of, some medical uh, projects in Nigeria. And within the last six months, and as I look, what within the last two to three years, as I look at what AMPA represents, I'm beginning to feel and I'm inclined to think that we might be better off working through an organization like AMPA rather than trying to do things individually. Because individually, it's almost like a drop of water or a drop of sand in the, in the ocean. But through AMPA, with this clout of membership, we have about 6,000 physicians here. And of course, we have a widespread of representatives from all specialties you can think of. That you can, there's no soft specialty in medicine that you don't have in Nigeria that is in that field. So I think if we work together through AMPA, maybe our impact at the end will be better for our country. And maybe we'll be able to impact more what we're trying to actually achieve, which is a healthier Nigeria in a healthier world. So I will advise or probably enlist the support of all the physicians who are here 
One of the organizers of the event, Dr. Chinyere Anyaugu, who is also the chairperson of ANPA National Membership Committee, said, Yeah, it's really important to realize that the, the position that we have as physicians in the uh, United States allows us to do a lot more and go a lot further than others who are not in this position are able to do. And I think we need to look at this regard with uh, responsibility and enough uh, trepidation that it desires. I think that if we would just spend a moment more in our busy lives to try and see how we can channel to be more effective in health care provision in general, then we could, be, we could perform tremendous acts both in Nigeria and the communities we live in. So we're asking that we all join together to make AMPA more effective, and we're leaving the membership folders for all of us that are here to join AMPA today. Thank you. Members of the association took time to cut 2017 annual gala night cake. Three, two, Somebody said two and a half. Are we going up or down? Hello, <laughs> so we're nice One zero. Nico, please give them a round of applause. Ampa Cake, New York. So um, celebrate good times. Party is not over. Uh, as the cake is being cut, DJ, I hand the floor back to you, please. Take it from where you stop, DJ. Yes.
It was a well-planned event, a great evening witnessed by NABN-TV executives. On behalf of our producer, Moses Adediji, my name is Justin James. Thank you for watching. N-A-B-N. New Africa Broadcasting Network.